How far did you get in your reading, if you don't mind me asking? I read the introduction. Okay. That's a start. Yeah, I, I didn't understand all of it, but, but I got through it. You know, introductions have long been an issue of controversy within the literary community. Oh, yeah? Yeah, some critics believe that uh, an introduction helps readers to better understand a book's historical context, while others think they just reveal too much of a story's plot. Myself, I'm partial to afterwards. Well, that's the introduction at the end, right? is. I was getting a little worried. I thought that maybe Madame Bovary had scared you away. It takes a lot to scare me these days. I imagine it does. You read it? Yeah. Who wants one? No, thank you. I'll take one. I don't want to sound like a teetotaler. You already do. This is a place of worship. Uh, they've been kind enough to lend us the space. If they find out that we've had alcohol in here, they're going to ask us to leave. You know what you are? A party pooper. You poop on people's parties. I am not a party pooper. I'm a responsible tenant. I bet you've been a responsible tenant your whole life. I have. A regular J. Alfred Poofrock. How do you know J. Alfred Poofrock? Everybody knows J. Alfred Poofrock. I don't know him. Should I? Look, just promise me you'll clean up after yourself. That's all I ask. Not a trace. I thought I'd start off tonight with uh, some words used by critics to describe the character of Emma Bovary. They've called her stupid, flimsy, foolish, vulgar, cruel, ignorant. Henry James referred to her as an abject human specimen. Really not the kind of character you'd expect to find in a 19th century novel. What kind of character would you expect to find? Well, someone who lives a life of the mind rather than a life of the flesh. What's wrong with the flesh? Nothing at all. In fact, it's what distinguishes Flaubert from his contemporaries. He took an adulterous floozy and made her the heroine of his novel. Now, she is not very commendable, but the book is, and perhaps for that very reason. I read in the introduction that, that Flaubert doesn't like trains. That's right, Freddy. He was uh, a Luddite. He worshipped the devil? No, no. He, uh, he hated technology. Though, they probably didn't call it technology back then. They just call it machines. Yeah, any newfangled thing he just loathed. Especially if it was fast. Speed, speed really got him going. Yeah, I see where he's coming from. I mean, uh, I'm a surveyor and a lot of the guys at work, they're replacing them with drones. You see, it's a lot easier to survey a property from the air than it is the ground. They used to sell drones. A lot of money in drones. I, uh, I'm something of a Luddite myself. I, I still carry a flip phone, if you can believe it. Is that real? Yeah. See for yourself. Why'd they say all those things about Madame Bovary? The critics. Because she is all of those things. Yeah, but what did she do to deserve it? Well, she cheats on her husband multiple times with multiple men. Maybe she wasn't satisfied at home. That's just it. You know, her home life, it's so dull, so unlike the books that she reads, that she literally exhausts herself in the pursuit of sexual fantasy. I would have liked to have known her. Well, you would have known her for very long when she fails to reach the heights of excess described in those books she poisons herself results in a slow and agonizing death. I think I know why Flaubert chose poison. Chooses poison, Freddy. Remember, present tense. Sorry. He chooses poison because he hates speed. Poison takes its time to kill you. It's not a train. 
No, it's a horse and buggy. That's a very astute observation, Freddy. I'm really proud of you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if it were me, I would've just shot my face right off my head. Fast and hard. <laughs> Freddy, we can't have you killing yourself, okay? Not just yet, because we need you alive and well next week to discuss Moby Dick. How long is it? This white whale is 587 pages. I'm gonna need more than a week for this. I got a job. Yeah, until the drones take it. It's true. Oh, how about I give you two weeks? Can we do three? I can make it three. James, does that work for you, three weeks? I already read it. Pleasure doing business with you, Proof Rock. Till next time, ladies. Hey, what did you just sign? <clears throat> it was uh, something for his probation officer. What'd he do? Yeah, Freddie, I think it's best we don't ask. So who is this J. Edgar Proofrock anyhow?